Hey, I wanted to make a, a quick video to share like a victory and something that's pretty cool. So um, I'm pretty sure I've talked about my little media server here, what I call Minty Box One. There's a bunch of hard drives inside of it, and eventually I'll get to be building a some kind of a holder thing for it so it can be mounted on the wall. It's just a desktop computer. It's got a Intel Q6600 quad core, a core 2 duo, or a core 2 quad processor in it. Um, and it's got a pretty light load. There's no graphics card in there. I do have a dual port Intel gigabit network card. Um, 430 watt power supply and a, a bunch of hard drives. And there's two gigs of DDR3 RAM. This board takes DDR3 RAM. It was a processor that I found. Um, somebody had discarded it. And then I bought a new uh, motherboard for it off eBay and I went from there. But I've got it set up as my media server, and it connects to this uh, crash cart monitor and keyboard. Power supply is mounted right there, so the thing can be plugged in if I need it. You know, I have it there in the event that I need it. Power comes on like that and runs Linux Mint. Um, but yesterday I was at the thrift store, and, or no, sorry, Thursday I was at the thrift store uh, while we were down in the valley, and I came across this uh, power supply, this this UPS. And I've been wanting to get a UPS for this server because here in Colville we don't have like perfectly clean power. Sometimes the power will go on and off really quick. Um, but you know, and that was annoying. I was like, man, this is this is. I need a power uh, a UPS. I want something that can keep the server on for a length of time if the power goes out. And so I, I came across this at the the thrift store. Somebody had thrown it out, most likely because. Uh, actually, I know it's because, because I've taken it apart already. This 4 amp hour 12 volt battery, which was inside it, probably came with the unit when somebody bought it, um, it was dead. It failed. It tests on my meter about 1.9 volts. It should be around 12 or more. Um, and it wasn't doing its job anymore. So it was like, well, why why keep a UPS when this, this model's like out of date? It's no longer, they don't make them anymore. Um... So I was like, well, I've got, because I, I knew I had this 12 volt, a, a bigger one, uh, a 7 amp hour, which is this kind of same form factor, but it's longer. So it's like a, it's probably like this long. Maybe it's, maybe it's more laid down like this. It's like this long, like almost two of these. This is a 4 amp, so it's, a, it's almost two. It's not an 8 amp hour. It's a 7 amp hour. Um, and this model, UPS, doesn't fit that, but with a little bit of dremeling, and some, some uh, so I had to get rid of the surge only ports because there was no more room. I had to take out that strip of surge only ports. But it was worth it to me because I was able to fit inside the case. I don't have to make another case. Um, the 7 amp hour battery. And so it's all in there. And I mean, there's, there's, I'm missing a screw back here, but it shouldn't be something that, that somebody's like picking it up and playing with. This is a, you plug it in and leave it. It's up to 230 watts. So, I uh, made sure the other day, I was like, okay, this, this system's got to take less than 230 watts. So it looks, my server is taking 124 watts um, at the moment, and that's like typical load. I think earlier I saw it at 106 watts there, 111. If you don't know what this thing is, the kilowatt meter. Kilowatt meters are really cool if you want to see how much a device uses um, from the wall, how much power. And you can kind of calculate how much that costs you per year. But in this case, I'm using it to make sure that I'm in range for this guy. So this thing's got a 7 amp hour battery in there, almost doubled the lifespan of this. As long as your load is less than 230 watts, um, this thing should be able to handle it. So I have this button, and I'm not sure that I really like the button, because if somebody comes along and clicks it, it probably shuts off the whole unit and kills the whole thing. Um, and I don't want that. That would be stupid. So right now, I'll just demonstrate. Um, it's running, you know, everything's normal. Say we've got power and everything, but then one, you know, it does happen around here fairly often, the power goes off. And so you can hear, you might be able to hear. There's a little beeping in there. The draw is still low. Um, so that simulates if we lost power. There and so now the UPS kicked back on. It could could feel that I plugged it back in or that we re restored power, um, and the server was on the whole time. 
which is really cool. And it's something I haven't had until, you know, absolutely right now. So I just wanted to share that. Um, this server is, it's a, it's a Minecraft, oh, whoops. It's a Minecraft server. It's a, a media server. It's a network attached hard drive. It's a lot of things. Um, it's a, a, a always on computer that if I'm out of town, I can still reach it and download things from it, upload things to it and access all the stuff I need to inside my own network here. So I really like to have it, and uh, that's just one last part that I was like, hey, this would make this thing all the better. You know, when we lose power for two seconds, I can have, um, you know, some, some reassurance that my power will be constant to this device. So that's all I wanted to share. Um, I'm pretty excited, you know, for, for a, a prop. The battery I bought years ago... Probably like two years ago, uh, when I was still in college, I did. A, I was doing a project and I needed a 12-volt battery to, to run a little server in a suitcase. Actually, this case. Um, and this is a different, this is a different video. But um, it's, it's a, a battery that I've been sitting on and sitting on and I just didn't have a use for it. And I was like, well, maybe when I get a UPS. And then I was at the thrift store looking for some other stuff. Wasn't even thinking about UPSs and somebody had donated this. So for $5, I took this thing home. And I was hoping, you know, maybe, hopefully, it's not the circuitry that's dead and it's the battery that's dead. Usually, I think that's what it is. But I will keep my eye out for more UPSs because they're nice to have. Um, I'm not sure that I love, I like the idea of lead-acid batteries. If I had more of them, I'd probably try to do some lithium-ion batteries. Some little, you know, little laptop cells that are the 18650s. But I don't have any of those that are enough. This thing should... Give me plenty of time to either let the server just die on its own or, um, you know, the, the, the power will be restored before this thing runs out of juice. And it's also nice because, like, if, if in an emergency my wife or somebody needed to charge their phone or something, they could still plug in to the, the, the ports here and get some 5-volt, you know, off of a wall wart type thing, and that would be really cool. Anyway, um... That's what I wanted to share, and that's it. Thanks. Bye.